Welcome to a Game of Thrones, the board game, digital edition. The first time I'm actually playing a board game in its digital format. So let's just go to... It's because it's Game of Thrones, man, and I just love Game of Thrones. Uh, tutorial, because I have no clue how to play. Learn the basics but while fighting off pirates marauding the north. Play. I want to buy the original game, the board game, but I don't have anybody to play with, so... There you go. Welcome to the Kingdom of Westeros. In this mission, you will... Oh man, this is so amazing. Like, I wish I could have played this game when I was watching the Game of Thrones series on HBO. Uh, in this mission, you'll take on the role of House Stark, one of the six great houses seeking dominance over the land of Westeros. Okay, House Stark. Nice. Checks out. Awesome. Uh, it's not gonna be the same as when playing the board game, but still, I was gonna try. Each game round has three phases. Westeros phase, players react to events. Planning phase, players secretly assign orders. And action phase, players take turns resolving orders. Okay. After 10 rounds, the player who controls the most castles win. I see. So there's a castle. Oh, Winterfell. Castle, which provides. Castle Black. Uh, Greywater Watch. Provides one victory point. Okay, so it's for the victory points. Cool stuff. In the planning phase, players must assign orders to each area where they have a unit. Assign march orders to your units in Winterfell. Select an order. March order. Confirm orders. Action phase. In the action phase, each player resolves the orders they assigned. A single march order allows you to move any number of units from that area into adjacent areas. Okay, so moving into a place where is the border. Select like Winterfell to resolve your match order. Winterfell. Move one of your units into White Harbor and the other to Moat Kaelin to take two castles. Okay. Uh, Moat Kaelin and White Harbor. White Harbor. Moat Kaelin. Confirm March. Because Winterfell is your home, you maintain control even if you have no units there, so long as it's, it's not occupied by enemies. Okay. The castle symbol refers to both castles and strongholds. If a player controls seven castles, they win immediately without needing to wait for the end of the tenth round. Okay. House Stark. Makes sense. House Greyjoy is marching from Seaguard. Westeros phase. At the start of a round, Westeros cards are drawn that affect all players. This phase is skipped on, on the first round, okay. Click to continue. The mustering card lets players add new units to castles and strongholds they control. Mustering. Castles provide one point of mustering. Select the castles in White Harbor and mode calling to muster a single footman in each area. Footman. And mode Kalian. Footman. Okay, so you add soldiers. Footmen are useful for expanding your land empire. Okay. Strongholds provide two points of mustering. So select the stronghold in Winterfell to use those points to muster a knight. Okay, let's make a knight. Awesome knight. Knights are twice as powerful as footmen in battle. Makes sense. Last days of summer, nothing happens. Click to continue. The next card drawn is the last days of summer, nothing happens. Enjoy this rare moment to rest. <laughs> nice. And the last card as well. Planning fates. Sir Roderick Castle. A raven arrived with news that Greyjoy's pirates have been attacking in the south. March your troops to the coast to defeat the sea scum. Choose an area to place an order. Not Kaelin. Marching order. Choose an area to place an order. White Harbor. Marching order. You have unlocked the Consolidate Power Order. The crown symbol represents power. Okay, so I have three castles and five power. Each player begins the game with five crowns and five power and can increase their power by resolving consolidate power cards, power orders. So the power is used to keep control of areas your units abandon. 
bid on influence tracks and fend off wilding attacks. Select an order. Consolidate power order. Let's see. Confirm orders. Action. In turn order, players take turns resolving a march order on their choice. March one of your units from White Harbor to Moat Kaelin. Uh, so that he can join the other's forces to attack, okay. There you go. Confirm march. Time to show these salty scoundrels what the north is made of, okay. When marching, you're not allowed to move into more than one area that would start the battle. So march all three units from Mount Kaelin to Greywater Watch to begin a battle. Greywater Watch. I see. Confirm march. One crown to keep control. Okay, so if I have no soldiers in an area, I have to spend one power to keep control of the area. So yes, I want to keep control. How's Greater House Stark combat? Combat is resolved by comparing the strength of the battling sides. Okay. Each footman adds one to its owner total strength. So I have three footmen and the other has two footmen. Each player may then play a house card to add their side strength. A house card. Play great chunk lumber to increase the strength of your side by two. Nice. Your opponent played Dagmar Chef, chef Jaw, bringing the strength of their side to three. Win the battle with a higher strength of five. After a battle, the losing side suffers casualties equal to the number of swords played by the main side, okay? So however, Dagma Chepchel's fortification lets your opponent ignore one casualty. Cause one casualty if you win, prevent one casualty if you lose. I see. Since the Grage of Footmen were not killed in battle, they must retreat to an adjacent area as routed units. Routed units can't march and contribute to no, no strength in combat. If a routed unit is defeated in another combat, it is destroyed. Okay. Routed units become unrouted at the end of the round. Okay. So they lose the battle, but they're not. They didn't lose their lives. The only thing is, I don't know how to see my... So how do I know what lands are mine? There's no, like, a uh, border or something to actually tell me that they belong to me. Nice straws for this. When the supply card is drawn, each player updates their supply limits to equal the number of barrels in area we control. Supplies determine the number of areas players may have with two or more units. Areas with a single unit do not require supplies. Okay. Not by your supply barrel. Yeah, it will also show which your supply are in use. And review the supply limits so with each barrel amount by selecting the barrel on your banner. I see. The amount of armies, areas with two or more units. So I have this area Stark, and this one is Greyjoy, so this area is with two or more units. One unit, zero units. Each player collects one power for each already controlled with a crown. Okay. Uh, 
earn one power and nothing happens. Planning phase. Take two more castles from the Greyjoy. You're men away there next door, there's time to go on the offensive, okay. Take two castles from the Greyjoys, which is an area to place in order. So I have, this area has only, okay, so now I know which areas are mine, okay, these three. I only have one here and one here, but I can go with these guys. So this area is going to be for March. This area is going to be for... Stark, that's the guard. March. And... March as well. Do I have to place an order in each area? I guess I have to. March as well. Of grey water watch, yes. Oh, she's a combat card, okay. Heather Stark, Rob Stark, three. Bruce Bolton, Blackfish, Sir Roderick Castle, Kathleen Stark. I think I'll go for Edda Stark then. So what's the use of these cars then? Like, these ones they give you more power. The Grey only got nothing. So I have Footman 3 and Edda Stark has 4 and this guy has Air and down fair, which is zero, and then knight one and footman two. So, what's the purpose of these cards? I don't get it. Okay, they were killed. Which is a march order to resolve. Uh, march adjacent here. Um, The stony shore is no one's. Okay, so nobody has the stony shore. Confirm March. And this guy. Castle Black. Unlock the ability to spend one mastering point to upgrade your footman into knights. Nice. Tell you spy them, it's very dull. Cool stuff. And area to master units. Of course, I'm gonna master them here. Okay, knight upgrade. Footman, knight upgrade. Nice and stuff. Great. 
Clash of Kings bid on three influence tracks. When Clash of Kings is drawn, players bid power on the three influence tracks. Today we'll bid only on the War Focus Fiefdom track, which determines tiebreakers in combat. Players are all in order from highest to lowest bid. Okay. Uh, let's go all in with all our power to see if we can beat the Greyjoys for the top slot of the Fiefdom track. Fiefdoms. Five submit bid. Click to continue. Can now grant one strength in common once per round. Nothing happens. Maybe the Greyjoys bid for four. Turn first place on the Fiefdom track, gaining the first player bonus of the Valyrian Steel Blade. Can be used to increase your combat strength by one after house cards have been revealed. Okay. Planning phase. A new order. The support order allows units in area to add their strength to combat in any adjacent battle. Nice. Support can be key to winning your conflict. Support order. That's an awesome card. Order. Choose an area to place an order. Okay. Choose an area to place an order. So, uh. March. This one is March as well. And this one is March. Do I have to place an order? Okay, because I have no power, I have to keep one soldier here to consolidate power. Because if I don't, then it's, I'm gonna lose the, the whole thing. That's it, I think they, if I don't consolidate power, when I have no units, I think they're gonna go into pirates mode. They're gonna be pirates or like rebels or something. So, yeah. This one... in order. March. Support. Consolidate power. I'll gain, gain one if this area is on land or in a port. To gain an additional count for each count in this case. Okay. I see. Uh, 
March. Okay, so these guys. Attack. Confirm March. Combat card. Okay, Rob Stark. I have no clue what Rob Stark is gonna do. Actually, gives three attack. Okay. Rob Stark gives three attack. Use volume to bait at one stand to your side. Yes. Volume to bait. Eleven versus eleven. Victory. Fine work, my lord. A feast in his order is in order. End of game. Okay, kind of like weird to be honest. I mean, to be, you can actually see it's not a game made for the PC. It's a board game which was transitioned on the PC. So it kind of feels weird. I feel like the mechanic is much better when you play it with physical cards in a physical board game. But it's still decent. I mean, because it's Game of Thrones, I guess it's it, it makes. It's, it makes for a good game, in my opinion. Let's see what happens now. Victory. Ah, okay, so now I have the other. So Siege of Pike is the next tutorial, which is Master Ships and Set Sail for the Iron Islands to quell the Greyjoy Rebellion. So this one was the basics of fighting off pirates and other ships, and then the next one's gonna be practice advanced orders while helping the Night Watch repel while in attack. Okay, fair enough. See you next time.